we're, we decided last year actually between the Hutchinson Fisheries Office and the Ortonville Office that we're going to start annual sampling of the Minnesota River using this IBI method methodology, which is Index of Biotic Integrity. It, what it does is you look at the numbers of fish you catch, the kinds, the health of them, and you can actually calculate a number on a scale of 1 to 100 that says this fishery is pretty healthy, this fishery is not very healthy. And the scores we had last year actually said the fishery was in fair condition. And it wasn't good, but it wasn't really poor. So that was good, and I already knew that. I mean, we kind of know what's out there, and, and you see from people fishing and stuff like that, that this is not your decrepit sewer ditch where there's no fish. That'd be a poor score, like a 1 or a 10. I think we scored somewhere around 50 with the scores, or 60, I forget. Anyhow, they were in the fair category. But it's also not this pristine, high diversity, everything's wonderful score of 100. And we do have those kinds of rivers, and that's how they know, based on these scores, what's, what you can expect to achieve. And they do exist, and there are these pristine, clean rivers yet that have high diversity and high scores. The Minnesota River is not one of those, but it's not that bad. And that's the other message I kind of like to give people is, you know what? Yeah, we got to do better, but right now it's not that bad either. Go out there and enjoy it, you know? Go out there, it's, it could be a lot worse. And there are those kinds of rivers also yet that really are in bad shape. So it's, it's, it's at least fair. Fair for now, considering the land use isn't that bad. <laughs>